At the time he was starting Apple, Steve was very actively looking for a mentor. Coben Chino would become Jobs' spiritual advisor. Coben encouraged Jobs not to retreat into a monastery, but instead to find Zen in his life and work. But they would argue over the path to enlightenment. You always say, make me monk. Please make me monk. I said, no, <laughs> I'll tell the proof. When I was living in California 20 years ago, at midnight, I answered the doorbell, and here he is, 18 years old. And wanted to see me. And I looked into his eyes and I looked terrible, but he's not crazy. I must talk with him. I took him for a walk to the downtown of Los Altos. All stores closed. One bar called Teacup. Open, so we sat on the counter. And uh, I had the uh, Irish coffee and he had the uh, juice. And after sitting, he started talking. He said, I feel I'm enlightened. I don't know what to do with this. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that is very wonderful. Oh, I need a proof of it. A week later, he came back with a little metal sheet in his hand. Many things are going, where I was going around. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> uh, it was a chip of a personal computer. <laughs> he said, I designed it. And my friend also helped me. This is called Lisa. I named it Lisa, <laughs> which is the name of his daughter. That was the origin of the Apple computer. And uh, I'm still not quite sure that was a true proof or not. It's brilliant, but too smart, I think. <laughs> 